Okay, so this is our new uh, Playbook tablet uh, with the new operating system OS 2.0, as you can see here. Uh, what we try to do with this now, we try to bring this device to life. We, are, uh, we have integrated emails, contact, and calendar to work seamlessly together. Okay, let's close all these apps. It's true multitasking. You can open any, any apps you want. There we go. So this device never freeze. There we go. So let's open the calendar. Okay, here is a nice view of the uh, calendar. As you can see, there is a nice feature here. Uh, the bigger is the number, the busier is your day. So let's say on the 21st of March, you should have uh, two meetings. But let's see who are we going to meet that day. So if I click just on people there, these are all the people I'm going to meet. Everything is integrated here. Uh, I can even actually go a step further than that, and I can uh, click on Anna James, and here you go. All her contact details, I can actually see she's on LinkedIn. If she were to post live updates on LinkedIn, they will all come up here. I can actually see the people I have in common. There you go. All within one app. You don't need to exit. Even better, I can actually have a look now of where I've met Anna before. So here are all the places where I've met Anna. Okay? All within one app. You've got different for, uh, different view there for the calendar. Let's look at the email messages now. Okay, so as soon as you uh, set up your uh, your playbook, now you can have your corporate emails, your personal email, Gmail, Hotmail, Facebook, Twitter, anything you want, it will set it up for you. As soon as you've done that, you don't have to do anything else. Everything is shown here. So you can actually check your Gmail account, for example. There you go. All your email are just right there. You've got all the folders there. There you go. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all within one app. Okay, if I now look at the contacts. Okay, as soon as you set up all your contacts or your uh, accounts, everything will be imported in here. So, so you don't have to do anything else here. We do everything for you. You got uh, LinkedIn, you got Facebook, you got Twitter, everything in one page. Here is all uh, Aaron Kesher details. I can see live feeds again here. I can see the connection we have in common and uh, where I've met Tyron before. Even better, if I click there, I can actually see here the video chat content that I have. What that means is that I can see that all these people have a playbook as well. So within one, with one, just one click, I can just call Anna right now. Okay, there you go. And the video chat application will just pop up in the background. And the call I figures. Probably Anna is busy now, so she won't answer the call. There we go. So uh, another feature. Um, True multitasking, as I say. So every time I open a, a nap, and then uh, I want. Uh, there you go. Let's give it a go now. Let's go. I've got an app open. Then let's see. I want to open a game here. Everyone loves Angry Birds, so let's try Angry Birds there. There you go. So true multitasking, hey voila. You see Angry Bird is in the background, still running, while I can do some other stuff in there. Hey voila, there you go, there you go. With this new uh, OS 2.0 now, you can run Android apps. So what that means is that from an end user perspective, you can just go to App World, search for the app you're looking for, you got search bar there. As far as you're concerned, for you is a playbook app now. So it would just be downloaded and installed on your uh, playbook. Um, how many of the um, Android apps are available on the Playbook? Uh, uh, I don't have the exact details yet, but I probably say around 2,000 around today. So in the, in, since we launched 2.0, we had quite uh, you know, a few people uh, wanted to port their apps into the Playbook. Very easy, they just need to sign up to the developer community and uh, we basically provide a toolkit for them to import the app into the app world. Um, now, if you have a Playbook, uh, if you have a sorry a BlackBerry device with a 7.7 uh, OS still, um, operating system, we extended the bridge functionality even further. So I'm gonna show with my own uh, with my own playbook. So I'm just gonna bridge now with my um, play, uh, BlackBerry Porsche device. Okay. So I open the bridge. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, establish a secure communication between my uh, BlackBerry handset and, uh, uh, and the playbook. Now, what I can do now, I've got uh, the possibility to use my handset to uh, control remotely my uh, playbook. So, there you go. 
as you can see there we go I'm just controlling the playbook from my handset I can open a file let's say I'm uh, entering uh, I have a meeting and I want to run a presentation I can uh, output everything I do out to a big screen using a mini HDMI to HDMI connection and we also have uh, the ability to have a presenter mode so what I mean by that is that uh, when I've got my uh, presentation up and running I can just change between slides or from within the handset I can actually also type on the handset everything will be uh, moved across the, uh, the, the playbook uh, I'll probably say these are the main feature of the new OS 2.0 um, you know we're trying to bring uh, quite a good feature here yeah, is a full package for business users also for end users there is also actually another good feature which we implemented for security reason it's uh, called blackberry balance and what we do basically we add a perimeter around your uh, work related uh, stuff let's say emails um, a presentation everything will be completely separated from your uh, uh, private emails or private files so that's obviously a good security concern that we care about another good thing is that if for example you were to give uh, the playbook to your to your kids uh, you, you want to make sure that um, they don't access content uh, not adapted for their age so you can actually lock it and say I want to make sure that all the apps when I look at they are for just 13 years old so just with one click I can set a password in there and you only know the password so you will be only the apps that uh, they are suitable for him it will be presented to him